Autodesk Vault control design data access with revision management. Vault provides two methods that can be used to audit and track revision history of your data from a single location. Both methods reduce the chance of design and manufacturing errors by releasing and tracking files throughout the design cycle. This ensures the team members access only the correct revision of the data and at the appropriate time. The design-centric release management process starts with the assignment of items for a product design. Items are easily created for a design and all of its components with a right click. As the items are created and added to the Vault Item Master, all supporting documentation is collected and associated with each item record. A quick review of the revision and manufacturing drawing reveals a preliminary revision A and a watermark of a released state. Selecting the Bill of Materials tab, reveals a comprehensive list of the existing released items associated with the design and the new design files which don't yet have items. Saving the bill of materials creates items for those design files which don't yet have them and a manufacturing bill of materials. Files which are associated with an item can be used to navigate to the associated item using a right click or control click. The item record houses all the business and design information required to produce the design. Moving an item from a work in progress state to released commits the preliminary revision, locks the associated files against editing, and makes the item's associated documents available for viewing, printing, or markup. In addition, the manufacturing drawing document watermark is updated to reflect the new released state. In order to modify an existing release design, the lifecycle state needs to be returned to work in progress. Changing the item's lifecycle state from release to work in progress bumps the current revision to a new revision and updates the associated manufacturing drawing watermark. Now that the item is in a work in progress state, the release design documents are unlocked and are available for checkout and editing. Using the open command provided in Vault launches the appropriate CAD software and allows us to accomplish both. Once edits are complete, the design documents are saved and checked back into the vault, which then updates and captures document version history. The item record is updated to reflect the changes made to the associated documents. As the item lifecycle is set to release, the preliminary item revision is committed, the design files are locked, an effectivity date is assigned and the document watermark is updated to reflect the new release lifecycle. This process exposes the new revision to manufacturing. The document-centric release management process starts with the assignment of a category to design files. Categories are easily assigned by selecting files and issuing the Change Category command. Categories describe lifecycle states, revision schemes, and properties, and subject files to these behaviors. Once a file is added to a category, note the revision and lifecycle state assigned to the file. Files associated with categories can be managed using lifecycle states. Changing the lifecycle state to released locks the files, keeping them from being changed. Right-clicking on a file in Vault provides access to the Open command, which will launch the appropriate design software and open the selected file. Once open in CAD, the lifecycle state can be changed to work in progress, which bumps the revision and removes the lock from the file in preparation for editing. Files can then be checked out and edited as needed to meet design and documentation requirements. Checking out a file creates a new version of the document which is stored in the vault and captures the history of change over time. File version history can be reviewed and even restored if required. Once edits are complete, the file is saved and checked back in, committing the new version of the document into vault.
Now the assembly drawing will be updated and checked out so that the changes made to the reference document are captured and a new version of the file is created. The assembly drawing can then be checked back in, committing the new version into Vault. Back in Vault, we see the drawing files and their versions, revisions, and lifecycle states. The new design files can then be released. Changing the lifecycle state to released locks the new version of the files, keeping them from being changed and exposing them for manufacturing. The Vault web based thin client can be used to access release designs and their associated documentation. The Thin Client supports both the document-based released workflow and the design-based released workflows, ensuring that only the right information is exposed, regardless of the method of release management you choose. The Vault Thin Client provides easy query, view, print, redline, and markup capabilities, so your business has the access to design information needed to support manufacturing, collaboration, and feedback, all without needing CAD software. Options for release management using Autodesk Vault allow your organization to introduce the appropriate level of access and revision management, providing the right level of control on the right information at the right time.